Today we will be discussing a topic from raw water engineering. So raw water engineering consists of different aspects or different portions. One of the major portion of raw water engineering is the uh, water treatment facility or the raw water treatment plant. In that raw water treatment plant, we have different kinds of unit. Namely, we have like screens, aeration, then we have sedimentation, then we have a process known as coagulation, population, and after that we have filtration, and the last process is known as disinfection process. So, before supplying water to a particular city, all these treatments are carried out to remove the impurities from the raw water, and then afterwards that particular water is supplied to the city. So today we will be discussing one of the units. The very first unit of the treatment plant it is screens. The first treatment unit it is screens. So this particular unit screens it is mainly used to remove the heavy suspended impurities which are present in the water. Right? We are taking water from a source. That source will contain a lot of impurities. It may contain some heavy impurities and some finer impurities. So this particular treatment unit screens they are used to remove the heavy suspended impurities from the raw water right now what happens is this particular treatment unit it is generally used for surface water we have two types of sources that is namely surface water and subsurface water so since the surface water is in contact with the atmosphere right so it will contain a lot of suspended impurities people have a tendency to throw the garbage inside the river water or on the surface water so this particular surface water consists of heavy suspended impurities which we have to remove prior to the treatment right so when the water is brought to the treatment plant what happens is the very first unit which we apply it is screens to remove the heavy suspended impurities now this particular screen this particular screen it is of two types the first one is coarse screen and the second one is fine screens. In our treatment plant, we have two types of screens. The first is coarse screen, and the second one is fine screens. So the coarse screen, in coarse screens, whenever we use coarse screens, we use bars of 15 to 25 mm diameter and add the spacing of we have a spacing of 20 to 100 mm spacing of 20 to 100 mm and for fine screens and for fine screens there is a wire mesh there is a wire mesh of size 10 mm by 10 mm square openings of 10 mm by 10 mm normally in any water treatment plant raw water treatment plant we do not use fine screens we do not use fine screens we only use coarse screens the reason is Fine screens, fine screens gets frequently choked and when they get frequently choked, they require frequent maintenance which ultimately increases the cost of the overall treatment. So normally, fine screens are avoided. So whatever discussions we do in this particular part, we are doing it for the coarse screens. Coarse screen. So this particular unit used for the removal of heavy suspended impurities and what happens is, whenever we find the arrangement of coarse screen, it is something like this. It is like this the screens are inclined it is not vertical so what happens is we can have two types of arrangements for screens the first one is the vertical arrangement and the second one is the inclined arrangement we are not going for vertical arrangement but we are going for inclined arrangement the reason for this particular thing is the simplest reason is when you are inclining this particular screen the Maintenance is very easy. You can easily clean this particular screen. Whereas the maintenance of this particular screen, the vertical screen, it is difficult. And the inclination, inclination of the screen, inclination of the screen with respect to this particular thing, it is approximately 3 to 6 vertical to 1 horizontal. The inclination is 3 to 6 vertical to one horizontal. Now, there are some advantages of inclining this particular thing. What happens is, we have a flow. Let us suppose this particular flow have, is have, having a velocity of u. The incoming velocity is u. And the 
velocity after the screens it is v u is known as approach velocity and v is known as flow through velocity so what happens is whenever we incline the screen the first advantage which we get is we know that q is equals to a into v this charge is equals to area into velocity and whenever you are inclining this particular screens so what you are doing is you are increasing the area with respect to this vertical screen let us take two cases this is a vertical screen and this is the inclined screen so whenever you are inclining the screens you are creating an additional flow area this is the extra area which we are getting so what happens is since your discharge is same you are increasing the area so what happens is the velocity over here it reduces and whenever the velocity reduces that means you are reducing the turbulence of water and whenever you are reducing the turbulence of water so what happens is the advantage which we get is you will have better retention over the screens right since turbulence is less so particles can get easily retained over the screens if you have more turbulence so there are chances that the particles which were retained on this particular screen due to the force of the water they can pass through this particular screen so by inclining these screens what we are doing is we are increasing the flow area which ultimately leads to reduced turbulence and better retention on these screens the next advantage which we get is let us suppose let us suppose this is a vertical screen and water is flowing at this particular depth at this particular depth you have your water flowing so if i take the case of vertical screen so i have i have if we take vertical screen so i have this much portion of the screens this much depth of the screens for retention that means this much area of the screen is available for the retention part now what i am doing is i am inclining the screen i will take the same length and i am inclining the screens so this particular length which was there in vertical is now only till here in the inclined screens that means you are getting this portion extra this is the extra portion which is available for the retention of the suspended impurities in case of inclined screen so what happens is you are increasing the retention area hence more impurities will get retained over the this particular surface so this is the extra area which we are getting extra area of screens and this can be proven also let us suppose that this is theta this is theta i am projecting this particular thing over here so let us suppose this is the vertical screen the area of vertical screen let us suppose a and the area of inclined screen is a dash so if i take sin theta sin theta sin theta in this particular triangle will be a divided by a dash it will be a divided by a dash and a dash will be equal to a divided by sin theta which is equal to a cosec theta and we are we know that cosec theta cosec theta is always greater than 1 if cosec theta is always greater than 1 that means a dash will be greater than a that means when you are inclining the screen when you are inclining the screens you are getting more retention area of that particular screens so again the second advantage is the more retention area so we have total three advantages while inclining the screen the first one is easy maintenance second one is we are reducing the flow through velocity we are reducing sorry we are reducing the approach velocity u and the third fraction is we are increasing the retention area now what happens is there is one more case what happens is the initial velocity was u when it will pass through this particular screens what happens is water will undergo some head loss it will undergo some head loss so that means loss of energy so head loss for these coarse screens head loss for the coarse screens is given as 0.0729 into v square minus u square v square minus u square v square minus u square the flow through velocity v is the flow through velocity and u is the approach velocity v is flow through velocity and u is the approach velocity now this v according to this expression v 
we should be greater than you. Yes, indeed, V is greater than you because what happens is, let us consider, let us imagine that this entire room, we have an entire room, this is the flow area before these screens. This entire room is the flow area and you have different kinds, you have screens. So screens will be placed like this. You have multiple arrangements like this in, in, in form of bars. So what happens is, you are, initially you are having flow area this much and after passing from the screens, the area is being reduced. The water is passing from only in between these two bars, from between these two bars. So from this area, it has been reduced to this area. And again by this particular expression, if you are reducing the area, your velocity will increase. So your flow through velocity V, flow through velocity V will be more than that of U. Hence the expression for head loss, it is given as 0 0.0729 into v square minus u square. So, in our raw water treatment plant, generally we use coarse screens and fine screens are generally avoided. The other reason for avoiding of fine screen is one is the maintenance part and the second point is we have multiple units. We have different units like filtration, sedimentation. So, if there are final impurities, if there are final impurities, they can get removed over there. So there is no need of adding an extra unit and there is no need of unnecessarily extending or increasing the cost of the water treatment. So that's why the fine screens were fine screens are avoided. So in the normal layout of the raw water treatment plant, you will find only coarse screens. So this was the entire theory of your coarse screens.